Hey, how are you doing today? Um, so today I wanted to do a review and swatch video of a lot of different like gloss balms that have been coming out lately. It seems to be a popular um, lip product that a lot of companies have came out with. Um, I have four, uh, two from Revlon, one from CoverGirl, and then one from e.l.f. So I'm going to review those and swatch them for you. Um, I'm going to do the e.l.f. one first. Um, it just looks like this. It is in the color Pink Umbrellas. I don't... Um, I'm not going to really, con I don't really consider this like a balm stain or anything like that. It's more of just like a jumbo lip gloss stick. Um, I think it was like one or two dollars at Target. It is just a glossy pink color. Um, they all twist up like this pretty much. Um, I've used it. I'm not really too fond of, um, I guess the formula. If you have like chap lips or any like imperfections on your lips this gets really like chunky you know how and it doesn't go on really even um I know it's a cheaper product it's from elf but you know I just feel like it should be a little smoother than that I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it for you it's this top one right here um it does go on smooth like when you're swatching it on your hand obviously but not as smooth as when you're doing it on your lips um, the next one I'll do is the CoverGirl. I showed this in my last video. Um, it's just the CoverGirl Lip Perfection Jumbo Gloss Balm. Um, this is a coral color. I believe it's... I don't know. They don't put their like names on the packaging of these, so whatever. It's, it's coral something. It looks like this. I'll go ahead and swatch it. It's pretty similar to the elf one actually it's just like a shade darker it's this one right here they both have the pretty similar textures the elf and the cover girl um, when you're swatching it on your hand obviously but I do believe that the cover girl I mean I've used it a lot the cover girl goes on smoother on your lips than more so than the elf one does um, and then the last two I have are from Revlon they are from their just bitten kissable um, line. The first one I got at Target, well I got both of them at Target, but this one was on clearance for some reason. It's in the color Desire. It is a, it's not the balm stain. Well, I mean it's a lip stain on one side and then you put the balm over it. And it is just a mauve purplish color. I don't know how this is going to swatch on my hand. And you really have to let it dry before you put the balm over it. Because if you don't, the balm, the lip stain will smear all over the balm part of it. Like it just did. <laughs> it's this purple color right here. Um, on your lips, it does look more pigmented. You obviously can't really get a good swatch on your hand with this. And then the last one I have is the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain. Um, these came out after this. I just bought this one last week at Target. They're like $7. Kind of pricey for just basically a, a balm stain. I don't know. It's in the color Sweetheart. And then it's just a hot pink color. I love this color. I really do. Um, and it does have really good staying power. Like even after the balm part wears off, the color is definitely still there. And it's also a twist up. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it. And it has a pepperminty smell. It's kind of similar to the e.l.f. Because the e.l.f. The e.l.f. has a pepperminty smell too, but it kind of smells like toothpaste. Both of these do. And this last one is a swatch of that. Um, you can build this up. It is really buildable. If you put on one coat, let it dry a little bit, and then do another one. That's how I usually do it um, when I'm applying that. 
So I hope this video was a little bit helpful for you guys. Um, out of the four products, I would say that these two are my favorite, the CoverGirl and the Revlon ones. Um, this, I just feel like it's too much work. You have to do one and then you have to do the other side and it's just, yeah. And then the e.l.f. one, I just feel like it isn't that great a quality. Like I said, I know it's e.l.f. It was only $2. I don't really care. It's just a cheap lip gloss. If you're looking for a cheap lip gloss, then go buy this one. If you want something better, then go buy the Revlon. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Like this video, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.